G'day guys, Jason Hodges here. One of the most asked questions I get is about retaining walls. So I've got my top tips when it comes to building a retaining wall, DIY style, at your place. The first question I get asked is how high can I go? Well, don't worry about how high can you go. You need to worry about what you're retaining. You need to think about how much of an area you need to level off and at what height you're gonna be finishing it and that's the height of your retaining wall. Now, people put in retaining walls to retain soil. So they need to be structurally sound. Every council in the country, believe it or not, has a different set of rules. So check with them. But it's a good chance, if it's just a step, you can do it without their permission. But if you exceed the council regulations, you'll have to engage an engineer. Once you know the height of your retaining wall, you can start thinking about which Abro product you want to use. If it's just a little step in the yard or a raised garden bed, these guys are perfect because they max out at 300 mil. They're light and easy to work with. Now a Versa wall goes up to 800 mil without any engineering, so that's a fair size retaining wall in a backyard. All of our brochures for all of our products are crystal clear about how high you can go without engaging an engineer. But for example, you get an engineer involved and you want to build a great big wall, Bessa block with Rio and concrete in it is fantastic. Now there's two different types of retaining walls. There's the ones that are completely straight and the ones that are laid back on an angle. The ones that are straight have the smallest footprint. The ones that are laid back are slightly stronger because they're leaning against the earth. They're not going to tip over as easy, so you can go slightly higher. The only little negative is you lose the distance between the base and the top of that retaining wall in your garden. To find the best block for your job, go to the Adbro Masonry website. And once you've found the block that you like the look of, that works to the height that you need, and you don't need an engineer, you can get started on your next DIY project. But what happens if the block that you've chosen doesn't go to the height that you need? This is a common scenario. The good news is most Adbro retaining walls can be specced up to go higher with those engineering drawings. But if you're going that far, I recommend you get the pros in and a tradesman to do the job. So what have we covered in retaining walls? Well, it's pretty obvious that all retaining walls aren't equal. You can go to different heights with each one. What's DIY and what's not? What can you do unengineered and what do you need to get the professionals in to do? If you've got any more questions, please go to the Adbri Masonry website because we're here to help you create your dreams of reality in your backyard.